Hello viewers and a warm welcome. In this video, you will get the explanation of the question paper of medical microbiology which has been asked in the examination MSc third semester of microbiology conducted in the year 2019-20 by HNP Garhwal University. I will discuss the most appropriate answer of this questions and if you disagree with any of the answer which I am explaining here or you have any doubt then you can write it in the comment section. In the description box of this video you will get the link of similar videos in which other question papers have been discussed. This video and the previous one videos will help the students who are preparing for the different entrance examination and for the course of the MSc Microbiology, MSc Medical Microbiology. It is also useful for the preparation of the GATE and the CSI Net Life Sciences examination. This question paper has eight questions. The four questions have to be attempted. The maximum marks is 60. The time limit is two hours. The question number one is compulsory. Each question carries. 15 marks. The question number 1. All parts of this question is compulsory. The part A is multiple choice questions. Here the each part will have the one mark each. The part 1, the question part 1 says, Streptococcus aureus is most often associated with being A. Coagulase negative, B. Coagulase positive, C. Catalase negative, D gram negative out of this the correct option is the b which is coagulase positive the staphylococcus aureus is the species which is coagulase positive there are the other species of staphylococcus like epitomitis which is coagulase negative the part two which of the following terms refers to the ability of an antimicrobial drug to harm the target microbe without harming the host? A. Mode of action B. Therapeutic level C. Selective toxicity D. Spectrum of activity Out of this, the correct option is the selective toxicity. Selective toxicity means the particular agent it should be toxic only for the pathogen but not for the host cells the question number three which of the following class of drug inhibits folic acid biosynthesis the a is sulfur diazin b chloroquinin c pentamidine d metronidazole out of this, the correct option is sulfur diazin. The drugs like trimethoprim and the sulfur diazin drugs, these are the drugs which inhibit the folic acid biosynthesis which is required for the synthesis of the purines and the pyrimidines. Part 4. Which of the following is not an appropriate target for antifungal drugs? Note there is a spelling mistake here. It should be antifungal. F-U-N-G-A-L. The options are A. Beta 1 to 3 glucan. B. Chitin. C. Cholesterol. D. Agosterol. Out of this, the correct option is the option C. The option C which is cholesterol. It is the component of the human cells the part of the cell membrane while the other three beta 1 to 3 glucan chitin and agosterol these are found in the fungal cell wall and the fungal cell membrane question fifth which of the following types of drug resistant bacteria do not typically persist in individuals as a membrane of their intestinal microbiota. The options are ESBL producing bacteria, B, V, R, E, C, 
C R E D M R S C. Let me tell you the full form of all of these. ESBL stands for extended spectrum beta lactamases producing bacteria. VRE stands for vancomycin resistant enterococcus. The CRE stands for the colistin resistant enterococcus. MRSC stands for methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus. Out of this, the correct option is the option D, which is MRSC. Out of all these four, only the Staphylococcus aureus, they are found in the skin. So usually, they cause the infection of the skin. Also, infection is the, in the upper respiratory tract, in the external nares, and they also cause the localized infections while the above all the other three they can be present in the intestine but MRSA cannot cause the infection of the intestine. The part 6. The effectiveness of chemical disinfectants has historically been compared to that of which of the following A. Bleach, B. Phenol, C. Ethyl alcohol, D. Formaldehyde. Out of this, the correct option is the B, phenol. Phenol is used in a method called the phenol coefficient method in which the effectiveness of chemical disinfectant is determined. Seventh, pathogen A has an IT50 of 50 particles. Pathogen B has an IT50 of 1000 particles and pathogen C has an ID 50 of 1 into 10 to power 6. Remember this 6 should be in the superscript. So again this is an error. These errors they can be pinpointed not by all but and by only the experts. So it is 1 into 10 to the power 6. Which pathogen is most virulent? A pathogen A, B pathogen B, C pathogen C. There is no D option here. So out of this, the correct option that is A pathogen A. The ID stands for infectious dose. The ID 50 is a measure which tells the least number of the particles or the cells of the pathogen which have to enter into a susceptible host and they should be capable of initiating the infection. So less is the ID50, the more virulent is the pathogen. Out of this, the least ID50 is of pathogen A. Only 50 particles are capable of initiating the infection. So most virulent is the pathogen A. Eighth question, which of the following would be a sign of an infection? A. Fever, B. Nausea, C. Muscle aches, D. Headache. Out of this, the correct option is the option which is the fever. When a pathogen enters into the host body, then it initiates the non-specific defense system. And one of that non-specific defense mechanism is increasing the temperature of the body. And some pathogens, which are the gram-negative bacteria, they have the lipid A as a part of their cell wall, which has the endotoxic activity. And the endotoxins, they act by the mechanism by releasing the pyrogens, which increase the body temperature of the host. So the correct option is the A, which is favor. Ninth, which period is the stage of disease during which the patient begins to present general signs and symptoms? The options are A, convalescence, B, illness c prodromal d incubation so out of these options the correct one is the c prodromal 
the prodromal is the phase before the actual illness this is the time when the pathogen has entered the host body and it is in the incubation period it is multiplying itself or it is trying to reach the target organ or the target tissue so that it can set up the damage in the host so here the pathogen is in the incubation period and the actual illness has not been set up but still as the pathogen is multiplying it is producing certain kind of changes in the host body so host is not feeling normal so there are certain signs which are seen before the actual illness this is called the prodromal period 10th question a communicable disease that can be easily transmitted from person to person is which type of disease a nosocomial b acute c contagious d iatrogenic so out of this the correct answer is the c contagious these are those infections which can spread from one person to the other from the infected to the healthy by different means like by the touch via through the fomites or via the inhalation or via the ingestion now there is the next part the part b which consists of the fill in the blanks here each blank again carries the maximum marks one the appropriate word or the term has to be filled up in the blank the part one says if a chemical disinfectant is more effective than phenol then its phenol coefficient would be dash than one the options here written greater or lesser so out of this the correct is greater the part two antiviral drugs like tamiflu and relenza that are effective against the influenza virus here one word is missing act by preventing viral escape from host cells belong to again there is some language problem belong to the class which is called dash group of antiviral drugs so here again the correct we will say the term is neura amenities inhibitors so these drugs they will inhibit the attachment of the virus to the host cell and by blocking the attachment the attachment is by the spike by which is the neuraminidase which binds with the host cell the part 3 in the disc diffusion assay a large zone of inhibition around a disc to which a chemical disinfectant has been applied indicates dash of the test microbe to the chemical disinfectant so this answer should be sensitivity when the disc diffusion method is performed to determine the sensitivity of the antibiotic then the disc is kept in the medium in which the organism has been inoculated if the organism the microbe is sensitive then there will be a zone around that disc part 4 cilia fimbriae and pili are all examples of structures used by microbes for dash during pathogenesis other than locomotion so here it has been mentioned that these are for locomotion but when there is the host pathogen interaction during the pathogenesis then these are used for some other purpose so that purpose is the purpose 
of the attachment or the it is also called as a adhesion fifth part a dash is an animal that can transfer infectious pathogens from one host to another so here the answer is the vector the vector describes the term or the insect or the animal which can transfer the pathogen from one the infected to the healthy host the rest questions are the descriptive type questions where a description has to be written so it is not possible to give the description here but i am reading out those questions if you want any reference material or some notes then i would be happy to provide them you can write it in the comment section question number 1 the part 1 what are the second line anti tb drugs briefly discuss the mechanism of action of rapamycin and isoniazid as anti tb drugs 10 marks the part 2 write a short note on e strip method the question number 3 describe the clinical symptoms pathogens and chemotherapy used for the following diseases the part 1 tetanus or leprosy part 2 leishmaniasis or candidiasis the part 3 influenza or malaria question number 4 what are the advantages of normal microflora to human body give a detailed account of microflora of different parts of human body this question carries 15 marks the question number 5 part 1 what are pathogenicity islands these are also abbreviated as p a i in some text you will written it as p a i define their role in pathogenesis and their mode of transmission this is of 10 marks the part 2 write a short note on pathogenesis of human immunodeficiency virus this is of 5 marks question number 6 part 1 discuss various mechanism structures with the help of bacterial pathogens for adhesion and colonization during pathogenesis this carries 10 marks part 2 write a short note on pathogenesis of cholera 5 marks question number 7 part 1 name different methods of drug susceptibility testing and describe any three of them in detail this carries 10 marks the part 2 what do you mean by a target mimicry and b target overproduction how this phenomenon may lead to ineffectiveness of chemotherapy explain in detail these are the mechanisms for the antibiotic resistance the last question question 8 part 1 give a detailed account of toxins and their role in pathogenesis with suitable examples this carries 10 marks part 2 how the clavulanic acid once found effective for treatment of lactamase generated drug resistance give the possible mechanism of action for it and also comment how the bacteria further developed resistance against clavulanic acid this is of 5 marks so this was the best possible explanation of the question paper of medical microbiology hope you will find it useful for more such videos subscribe to the channel and keep liking and sharing for my motivation thanks a lot for your patient hearing wish you all the best for examination bye and take care